missing wild bait. Now, y'all, this this was a lot going on. But the real question is, is Zeke Daddy and Margaret going to have a love affair? That's what I want to know. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. This is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related. And y'all know that I am here to put you on. We are back to Talk Found, Season 2, Episode 1, Missing Wild Bait. This is spoiler filled, okay? Spoilers are what I do. All right. So if you're new here and you have not watched the episode yet, click off the video. But remember to come back, y'all. Let's get into it because I just want to get some things off my chest. If I can be quite honest with you. One, why are y'all acting so big mad at Gabby? Like you can't you can't really judge how a person responds when they have been traumatized to the magnitude that sir has traumatized her in the past. Now. You know, what would anyone do if they got the opportunity to keep hostage the person who had kept them hostage? I mean, it is what it is. So the selective outrage I felt like everybody gave, I don't feel like they were justified. The only one I feel like was justified in her anger and for not being privy to what's going on is Lacey. And that's because Lacey was the victim herself of this man. But the rest of them, get off your high horse. Get off your ego. We find out that Zeke was going to quit. Margaret's in her judging bag, which, you know, uh, now Trent, he's the one that's still clueless. Trent's the cop boyfriend, right, that she's been dealing with. So another thing, point two, <sighs> Gabby, 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 we're not going to sit here and act like you don't know, sir, and his M.O., and the idea that you think he would do anything that was going to jeopardize you and him possibly reconnecting, i.e. unalive Lacey, I just don't think that was logical. Now, did he rat poison everybody? Yeah, but, you know, you know, I, mm, but I knew he wasn't going to take out Lacey. Like he says at the very end of this episode, Lacey was always the key to Gabrielle. We find out that Lacey put up a hell of a fight in that apartment building. She did not go quietly into that good night, baby. She had blades hidden. She did the absolute most. So through this episode, it's really the team navigating because off the bat, Gabby's like, he killed her. Lacey's dead. Girl, where's the body? You know better. You search for missing people on a regular basis, and you mean to tell me you thought instantly he unalived her? Girl, shut up and be serious. That's my only qualm probably with this first episode is don't make us believe Gabby someone that she hasn't proven herself to be in the 13 episodes of season one. Let's just not do it. Let's just not do it. Um, Trent finds out because we have to tell him, you know, even though Margaret and Dom are trying to kind of save her from him. Um, she says, listen, I had him in my basement. How could you? What kind of person could do that? What kind of person are you? You're just like, sir. You're a manipulator. You're all of those things. And then you bleach the crime scene. Well, Dom did that for her guy. So, you know, there's that. Again, the back and forth between them, I really didn't care about. I wanted to see more of sir. I wanted to see more of sir and his interactions with Lacey. We really only got that in the last three minutes of the episode. And I wish that would have taken a bigger part. We do see Zeke. Zeke is actually the only one that ends up ultimately getting poisoned other than Lacey's dog. Um, and he has to go and they think, he, you know, it's not a question of when he wakes up, but if he wakes up. But of course he wakes up. But he's has spazzing out because he's not in his home and we know that he's an agoraphobe. His father comes in, um, you know, letting the team know. You know, my son's been working with you guys for a while. You know, what what's going on? What should we do? And so basically, Gabby can't be in the room because I guess apparently she triggers him. Dom, Margaret convinced the dad to let Zeke go home, right? The doctors want to medicate him, put him in the psych ward 5150. And they're like, no, we can do this. Let's take him home. Let's do that. And so they get him home and he's like, I need my laptop. You know, you guys are saying Lacey's dead, but I know Lacey. She's a fighter, right? And so then it kind of opens up. Gabby does a press conference where she appeals to Sir because she knows he likes a clue and she quoting, you know, his favorite book to him and all that. We discover later on that Lacey is the one who actually left the message in the apartment um, and that she is, in fact, alive. So after the breadcrumbs, Sir plants a fake body in the back in the trunk of a car. 
leading them on a goose chase. Ultimately, he wants Gabrielle back. That That's all is on his mind. That's all he cares about. That's all he wants. And like I said, he's not going to do anything to permanently alienate her in my mind. Now, what I am concerned about is potentially Dom's spouse. Like he said, Dom is the biggest threat. Dom is the one who actually captured Sir and brought him to Gabby. So now Sir hurting his husband, that's a possibility. That's a reality because did we see his husband this whole episode? I don't know. Dom kind of abandoned ship all about Gabby. He abandons his husband, everything else he has going on to check on her. So I'm concerned about that. Um, ultimately, Sir calls Gabby on the payphone. She thinks it's going to be Lacey, but it's him. Uh, hey, Gabrielle. And we already know what's going to conspire after that. Gabby's going to make some faces. She's going to click on those heels. Uh, and we're going to see what happens, you guys. I'm ultimately here to see how the team, if the team recovers, I know that they'll stick together at least until they find Lacey, but what is the dynamic going to be like on the team? Also, what uh, when when is the 72 hours going to be up? Because the copper Trent said, uh, if it's not done in 72 hours, you finna get them cuffs. And she said, I, I'm going to pay for my crimes. I'll do my time. That's what she said. But if you don't find her in 72 hours, then what, Gabby? Again, overall, it was fine. I think I was expecting more. Season one kind of spoiled me with Found. It was one of my favorite network shows. Not my favorite of last season, but definitely one of my favorites. And I want more. So I'm hoping that the suspense builds. I hope that we get more, sir, because you know that that's my, he's my favorite. He's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested to know um, kind of what's going to happen with the dynamic with Lacey, with Gabrielle, with sir. Will sir take more drastic measures? Will he potentially unalive Lacey? I still don't think so. That hasn't been his character up to this point, but we'll see because it, it was a fight and it was bloody in that apartment. But you guys drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of episode one of season two for found. Um, yeah. Did it, did it live up to your expectations? I would love to know. And yeah. And let me know if you guys want to talk about this weekly, but thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.